Hello everybody and welcome to this update week. Uh, my name is Martin, I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Um, welcome to these up update videos where I tell you about all of the work that I've been up to this week. Um, this week has actually been a whole bunch of bug fixes but also some interesting extra fe features that I've managed to do at the same time. Um, but before we get into that, uh, as usual, I want to give a big shout out and a big th thank you to all of my sponsors on LibrePay and Patreon. Thank you all so much for allowing me to spend the time on Inkscape and to uh, obviously listen to all of the things that you have to say about the new ver version. It's been great to see, see you test testing it and it's been great to see your um, both struggles and also your successes. Um, so please do get in touch and com com comment if you're trying out the new version. Okay, so let's get into it. What do we have this week? We have a whole bunch of fi fixes, so we'll just get through those quickly. Um, we fixed the uh, page remove, add, and selection I I issues. Basically, the multi-page support had, um, so I would say, some significant issues when it came to undoing and redoing, causing you to have ghost pa pages that you couldn't select. Um, this also happened when you ran some of the extensions as well. Uh, I had to redo the paper size detection and a whole bunch of work on the pages tool toolbar so that uh, when you typed in num numbers and things, the numbers were correct. If you set your document to inches before and then you started typing in millimeters or centimeters, a very bad prob prob problem on your hand. Um, we fixed the exporting of SVG so that if you selected the select only op option in the export dialog and, uh, and selected SVG before it did not correctly uh, exclude items if the selected object was inside of a group. Uh, that has been fixed. Big big shout out to Chris who asked me to fix that for him. Um, fix the export di dialog so now the preferences are actually properly aligned. Uh, there's a bit of a click clean up there as well to make sure that the preferences when they pop up um, pop consistently. Some of this was code based but also the user experience I think would have suffered without this cleaning. I also added a checkbox that says basically use the default or last used pref preferences. So if you don't want to see that pop up then select that box and you will just never see the preferences. Um, this apparently was very useful for pe people who are exporting a lot of PNGs and they don't really use the batch mode. Um, so just a little bit of a user experience workflow improvement. Um, we f fix we fix the export to correctly use the the file name and exp uh, and on browse basically a bunch of file, file name cleanup. Uh, we don't track the document units in the calligraphic tool toolbar. This was a fix for Tim. Um, this was just a user experience fix. Um, I did finish the. Uh, graphic user in interface a API that I mentioned last week for extensions with 100% test co co coverage, which I'm very proud of. And uh, we bundled both the clipart importer and the um, extensions map manager into Inkscape itself. So you won't have to download and install those separately. They will come with Inkscape. Um, I'm also very excited to show you that I managed to improve the clipart import importer itself. Uh, both of those things actually needed to be fixed so that they use the new API. Uh, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to add some features to the clip clipart importer. And I made it so that you can um, import multiple objects. Right, So it's got a single import mode, uh, which is the default, and then it's got an optional multiple where you can search for and then collect together a bunch of objects and then import them all at once. Uh, this is because some people said that it was more difficult to use because of the fact that um, it's an extension and therefore it's separate from Inkscape. And that means that it's just a little more clunky if you're importing a lot of items. Uh, I haven't done any user experience feed feedback yet, so I'm very interested to get people to test that. Um, hopefully I will be showing you here uh, how the graphics work. Uh, okay, so... What I'm going to do is, ne I think next week, I'm going to sh start showing some of the about screen con contests. Um, but for this week, what I'm going to do is going to go into um, Inkscape's other work. This is work that other contributors did to Inkscape this week that um, I didn't do. And uh, just to celebrate and see what, what else is going on in Inkscape. 
Mike, as always, has been a tro trooper fixing mem memory leaks, uh, fixing pro problems with the re recent file order. I know he, he worked with uh, somebody else with that, Raphael. Uh, save tools between sessions so the, the toolbox width was broken and it would forget every time you reopened in Ink Inkscape that um, left hand side box would basically just always be a single row every time. Re remembering it is actually a really good user experience. Um, Javier has been super busy, he's been fixing so many issues in, in the LPs, constantly polishing that off. Uh, fixing path intersection bo boolean operations, style improvements. So this is basically tweaks to the style sheet so that Inkscape looks a little nicer. Uh, dialogue tab problems with the text lengths and showing and hiding and stuff. And um, adding, an, ad adding an option to the SVG opening. I'll be honest, I didn't understand that merge request well, uh, but maybe you guys could check, check, check it out. Um, Thomas did a whole bunch of un un underlying stuff. He refactored using more complete library for arc transformations. This actually fixes a number of issues when you try to use cir circles with bool oper boolean operations. Um, he also fixed bo boolean op operations when you were using clipped and masked ob objects, which would create weird stuff. And he removed the scroll bar from the toolbox on the side. Um, you can still scroll if you use the scroll scroll wheel, but the actual like visible scroll scroll bar is gone. Uh, Rashana fixed the canvas mark marker editing uh, with the y-axis reversed. Um, I think it's Vibe Malik fixed double rotation ang angle on scroll. Loose paths fixed a bunch of typographical errors. It was essentially a, a pass through to fix common uh, spelling mistakes of the code base, I should say. Uh, Adam, <laughs> I have it here in my notes, says added holes to the trash icon. I, I know he actually added, he changed the trash icon. Um, but I, f I find it amusing that, that the merge request actually has I added holes. <laughs> uh, Jonathan Newhouse has been uh, doing loads of extensions work, basically fixing a bunch of stuff, um, supporting me with the GUI work and review. Um, making sure that like diff different extensions uh, have their some of their bugs fixed because you know we collect the bugs over the year and there's no guarantee that, that any of them are going to be fixed because people might, might not have time to work on them so he's been going back and hopefully fixing some of those and nathan lee has he fixed garble text and export P pdf files i think that's just a win windows bug and some numpad problems and uh, Raphael fixed multiple issues when moving and selecting in layers. Uh, there's a bunch of crashes. And I know he did a bunch of clean cleanup work as well that he didn't have to do, but um, he, he put that extra effort in to make the code, code base better. So I, I much appreciate that. Uh, and that's about it for this week. Um, thank you so much for listening to my update video. Mm. And um, I hope to see you all next week.